Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Yep, Mibro. Mibro, a Xiaomi subsidiary of sorts, has produced the Mibro Air in this package. You're going to get a chance to take a look at it. Very interesting product. I love quote quote shopping for you guys and see something kind of, oh, I think they're going to love that. Well, this has got some interesting features, starting with the color. Check this out. You ever see something who <laughs> is promoting the fact that its color is tarnish? I mean, why not? If everything is going to tarnish eventually, why not just call it tarnish from the beginning and sell it as an asset, right? Ugh. All right, let's get into this box, and then I want to tell you a little bit more about this thing. There is something, if, it, uh, if what I read is true, and it's a little bit tricky to figure out, but there is something fun about this one that's different than what we've seen in most, and I think you're going to love it. The box is really light, first off. You open it up, good presentation. You could write a little something to your beloved right here if you're thinking of a present. And then you can fuss with trying to get it open. There you go. There's the watch. And we break at this moment to show you a little bit different way of uh, presenting this. This is actually from the Simpson. And I'm saying it English way. And maybe it's Simpson because I is always E, right? The Simpson Mibro Air Smartwatch. IP68 full waterproof, Bluetooth 5, sleep monitoring, 12 sports, on and on and on. Um, and this is uh, in the link in the show notes. It'll get you over here on discount sale right now for about $33 or so. What's it got going for it? Let's take a look. Well, it's a metal slim body to begin with, with full circular HD touchscreen and rotating dial operation. Did I say rotating dial operation? Did you miss it? Rotating dial operation? Uh-huh. Let's see what that does. Customize watch faces, 12 sport modes, 24 bio heart, okay, 24 hour bio heart rate now and scientific sleep management in an IP67 device. Model number is this one, but we're calling it the Mibro Air. It's a 42 millimeter diameter, tiny thickness. Look at that, just a hair over nine millimeters. So it's going to be a very nice, attractive, easy to wear watch. You got a 1.28 inch TFT screen, 240 by 240, 200 milliamp hour battery, should be decent battery life. The uh, PPG bio heart rate sensor and gravity sensor for your step count. 25 days standby, and the remainder is off. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Here we go. Uh, oh, cool. It, it, it's tarnish. I'll be darn. Honest to goodness, they gave us a tarnished watch, and it looks really good. Very, um, very flexible, very smooth TPU band. We've got the heart rate sensor, charging port, got a button a pseudo cover inside the box. We of course have the uh, two pin, it looked like, charging, magnetic charging connector. Love it when I get it backwards. Okay, maybe, yeah, there you go, okay. Ah, uh, not terribly, terribly strong. Can't quite hold the watch. So make sure when you get it uh, and you put it down, you don't have it kind of off kilter a little bit when you're charging it. Um, interesting bezel. Doesn't feel like it rotates, but it did say rotating bezel. Maybe it's like the tick, tick thing, the tickle. Or it, well, we'll see. We'll see when we get into it. Okay, and we've got the little manual. Mibro Air. Instructions. The QR code, they have their own specialized app for this one as well. So we're going to have to dive into that and check it out. Uh, very odd and unusual that you get a unique company branded app that goes with the company watch. But we've got that with this one. Um, features, charging. Hope that's readable. It's printed in a very light gray which is also odd. Apparently they had to update their FCC ID, whatever that means, but they have run it through the FCC in the United States, so that's an added benefit. And that's pretty much it in the box. 
All right, we just opened the plastic, so obviously I gotta charge it up and get it ready for you. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Long press, hold. Vibrated, gives you the company logo coming up, and boom, we're right into the initial watch face. So first off, let's walk through it. Yeah, quick timeout, and I don't think we have yet the twist your wrist turned on. We have to do that. Slide down, you get all these different configurations, like a do not disturb. And notice, you've got the kind of Galaxy Watch uh, languaging and switches on here. Beautiful, beautiful. You can turn it on, and you can set uh, the times of uh, day that you want the automatic do not disturb to go into right from the watch. Awesome. Here's your um, silence mode, power level, power off right here. Here's the QR code you scan for tethering to um, the special Mebro Fit app. Here's our brightness selection, and we can turn it down to there or up to full brightness there, which washes the screen out a bit. So let's let's take it down. Wow, to the lowest. How about the second? Okay. And then you got a flashlight mode that makes it a nice bright flashlight when you're wearing it. Easy to get to, just simply by swiping up. You go over here, and now we're going to get to a loop of things. You've got the step count. We just took it out of the box, so I don't have any data for you. We go to the weather. When you're tethered to the app, you should be able to pull the weather in in your location. Here's the heart rate sensor that's going to measure and give you a simulated graph on here. And down here it looks like we're going to have our, our readings. We'll give it a moment to lock in on that, see if it can get a heart rate for you. One of my disappointments already seeing is this tiny little digits down here. I prefer, oh, well, all right, take that back. We get it way up here. I thought we were going to get tiny little digits down here, but I guess this will be your maximum and minimum or average. But anyway, there's your heart rate coming in from uh, any place that you touch it on your body where it can see capillaries. And it uh, failed as soon as I took my finger off, so we know it's not just simulated. That's a good thing, too. And a little plus sign to add different components, which I presume we have to get to from the app. When you go back over here, you get to your watch face. When we swipe up, that's where notifications would be pushed that you can read on the watch from the phone. Looking a lot like we got to bring the phone over next, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. Remember the rotating dial idea? Uh-huh. It was in the specs or in the, the promo. Come over here and there you go. We've got a circle. Now, I don't rotate the bezel, unfortunately. I don't have a tickle spot like the tick watches. But what I do have is the ability with my finger to twirl around. And that is pretty darn cool. You go to whatever you want, you tap it, and it's going to go back into the heart rate sensor again right there. Come out of that, I'm back in the wheel. So we can actually go through everything that the watch can do. Let's start from heart rate, which is where we were, and we already looked at it. Camera will be the remote camera that turns this into a button to take a picture with your phone. Oh, i got to keep talking. We come over here to uh, sports. When you get in here, uh, we have outdoors, indoor, looks like, treadmill type, walking, football, bunch of other stuff. And when you land on them, then they uh, will highlight a little bit larger and then we can go into them, which I'll show you. There's a yoga and free training. Now there's no GPS as far as I know in this one. Let's go into outdoor running. That's a typical one. I come in here, I get some stuff that I can see ah, <laughs> and I hit go. And it gives me a countdown, shows me the current time, and now we get our data. And it goes right out again. We've got time, uh, heart rate coming in. I'm not touching the diode, so we're not getting that. Calories burned, um, and your step count, I guess, and uh, distance traveled calculated. And come over here, we can exit out of that. And that's basically sports. Come around here, there's data, which is your pedometer daily data count messages do not disturb we've looked at you have a active stopwatch in here down to hundredths of a second that you can stop at any time when we leave it 
and come back into it, it resets itself. So it doesn't run in the background. You got the weather. Uh, again, you got to be tethered to the uh, phone for that. And last night's sleep time in big letters or numbers uh, with deep and light represented on here as well when you sleep it with the watch. Now, you got to find your phone uh, when you're tethered. A timer, which is a countdown timer. I'll set a one-minute timer, and it's going already. When we leave it and we go over to settings, and we come in here, and we come back out, and we go back over to timer, and we go into it, Aha! Uh -huh. It looks like it's stopped, doesn't it? Yep. So you got to leave it in the timer if you want it to time down in the background. Just to verify that, we have 53 seconds to go. And we'll see if I get a vibration in, when that time is up. Here we go into the settings now. I've got my off time, which is great. How long the screen will stay lit. And it's as low as five seconds and oh my goodness look at this 60 65 wow wow all right i can go 105 seconds and i like to talk so i'm going to put it on that uh oh it's not seem to be sensitive hello x check mark how about 100 seconds well, there's a little bit of a failing. I don't seem to have sensitivity here. Did it take it? I guess it took it. We'll find out. Raised to wake. Obviously, we want to have that one on to twist your wrist to see the time. The about, which tells you we're looking at the Mibro Air. Some basic information. Firmware 1.71, in case we need to update it. Pairing to the phone, which is what we're about to do. Restart, shutdown, and a factory reset, which is nice to see that on a watch because it can just quite clear everything out uh, for you. Um, after settings, you've got a music control to play music on your watch and uh, on the phone from your watch, and then we're back to heart rate. So we're going to go into setting. We're going to go into pair to phone, and that should be activating this whole thing. And now we need to install the Mebro Fit app on your phone, which Actually, I've done. Here we are in the Google Play Store. You can check the show notes for the link to get you over here if you want, or just look for Mebro Fit uh, on your phone. When you bring it up, you're going to get a uh, chance to get into it, but I just wanted to show you some panels because I don't have data that's going to show you a little bit about what you'll get. You'll get your daily step count info, heart rate, sleep time, body weight, and fatigue will be displayed on, um, on it. Uh, you have your uh, data records uh, available for you. Then you can do exercises with a background map, it looks like, running, walking, cycling, and so forth, tied to GPS on your phone. And you can share those exercises. And it's showing you the mile count around the area that you walked, exercise time, calories, pace, speed, all of that stuff. Again, that's in combination with the uh, watch tied to the app and you got to be doing that on the app to get all that gps stuff here's your personal center where you set everything up and online management where you can add different watch faces look it's talking about a different watch a gt 105 s so that may be one you want to look for if you prefer more of a rectangular one let's see if there's a way i can bring that in for you as well so we bail out of here we come back up and we'll open the thing and first thing it does is it talks about a service agreement that you're going to agree to or disagree to and you can view it i'm going to just go ahead and agree to it and i thought the graphics were pretty cool so i'm just going to play that for you for a second it loops through here i can jump over i can open the fit app and we'll hit open and talks a little bit about it and then I can log in, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to jump over. Okay, now, log in, user agreement, privacy policy, registered. So we have to create an account. 
Okay, I basically created an account. I needed my email address. Then they sent me a verification. I had to enter a six-digit code. I had 60 seconds to do it in. Then I could create a password, verify it, and get to this page here where I can select male or female. I generally pick female just in case the apps might support females differently than they do males. Uh, date of birth. Whoa, not that far back. Goodness. Nope, not even going to be that old. Uh, pick there, 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 and our height, and our weight, and our step goal, and there we go. Oh, i got to access my contacts. All right, I'll allow that, and making phone calls. I don't know why I need all this, but I'm going to... For now, approve it all. Wow, a bunch of it. Okay, open permissions, enabling self-starting permissions, background power consumption, and turn on message notifications. I'm just going to say I've turned them on. Nope, can't. Got to do that. All right, turn on. Go to enable self-startup permissions. Okay. Background power, turn on, okay, and wow, okay, am I missing something, ah, there I am, that one, that's the one I want to turn on, okay, well that one's successful, I don't know about these, so I'm just going to see if it'll say I've turned them on. Anyway, finally I get to the main home page and we're still not connected to the device itself. So I presume I got to go to me. There's my user. I got to add a device. It's searching on this one now. Oh good. Okay. It's found it. Let's select it. And it says successful pairing, pairing, carry out, tips for wearing. You want to get your heart rate correctly up there. And now, finally, we are here. So I can go home. This is where we'll collect our data. It's already giving me my first weight. But theoretically, it will do all of this stuff. I would pull down to refresh it. Exercise is where you can do... Um, exercising directly interfaced with the app like we talked about and then all of the setup that you can do for you and the watch itself so we want to cover that aspect because as you know we want to look at watch faces we have that one that one and that one and then you can add a custom watch face right so we've got the three stock ones and find a bracelet no, that's going to be looking for and vibrating the band. Where's a find uh, watch faces? Custom screensaver. Okay. I guess you can create your own here by adding a picture to it, change the style and the position, and install your own uh, watch face that way. Sedentary reminder, we've seen all of that. Find the bracelet, raise your wrist. Does this have any sensitivity? No. It's nice when they give you a sensitivity setting, um, but this one doesn't do it. Alarm clocks, there's the take your fo photo. Health data management frequency, we'll turn that on and that will allow it to do uh, health management regularly. The weather push information and where you are, notifications. 12 hour clock or 24 hour if you turn that on the device version currently running and um, reset and unpair but at this point I don't see how you add custom watch faces to it this is where you change the uh, watch itself we don't want to do that we don't want to unpair but we do want to reconnect Okay, back again. Sorry, gang, I thought we could add more watch faces, but it doesn't look like we can. We can only cr uh, create the one additional face. However, if I long press, as you saw, 
we have three of them in here. That one, that one, and that's where we started. App, custom, watch, face. Well, if we figure that out, I'll put a note about it in the show notes. Um, you should be able to put one more face here from a whole bunch of them that you could bring up on the app, but that doesn't seem to be logical for me. So I'm just going to put it back here on this watch face and uh, come back here to show you that when we leave the My Device, uh, which was here, you have your user information here after you create an account and log in. Remember, we did that at the very beginning. And based on that, notice we have a physiological period because I logged in as a female. So you can specify when a cycle started, how long it is, and uh, how long it lasts. For those of you who know all about that stuff, save all that. And presumably it's going to tell you where you are when you're in your uh, cycle. Your overall health report will be shown here. Your step counts, sleep time, heart rate will all appear in these charts. And leaderboard, if you've got friends you're competing with, and these are other users, I guess, that are logged in and using it right now, um, and where they're from and their different countries, and their step counts for the day. So that's already preceded in the Mebro Air app of all the registered users and medals that you've won for completing different uh, things. Like the first time you do 10,000 steps, you'll be able to get that one. Overall help and feedback is available. You can check out all of these questions. And of course, it's a free download for the app. So if you can get into it after you set up your account without having to pair a watch to it, you may be able to roam around and look at all of this stuff too. Up here is uh, overall settings, personal, account, privacy. Here's where we can change our units, which of course in the US we're on English. That's good to do. Um, agreements about and clear the cache. And that's pretty much it for the app. I wish I could show you how to do the extra uh, watch faces, um, but so far I don't know. Yeah, it would have to be somehow associated with this area, but it's not. Okay, back to the watch. All this talk, and you haven't even seen it on. So let's put the thing on. It's extremely lightweight, gang. It really is. Um, easy, nice stretchable band wow looks tiny on my arm doesn't it uh, so this would definitely work for the ladies uh, or small wristed folks um, yeah overall a really nice watch okay so once again this is a Seaman or Simon whichever way you say it uh, product it is a Xiaomi branded watch called the Mebro Air and it's available for about $33. You can follow the link in the show notes. That'll take you over there. And a welcome to our new uh, partners. We're going to hopefully see a lot of unique and interesting watches coming into us from a variety of locations all coordinated through a central agent that's going to allow us to review these for you. Kind of expand the marketplace in alternative Android and regular smartwatches. Thanks for watching, gang, and really appreciate your subscription and being here and thumbs up on our videos, and we'll see you again soon.